Hi everyone! My name is Christine Baal, and this summer, I've been working in Dr. Marta Simoes and Dr. Andre Antunes' team in gathering information on the genetic mechanisms behind fungal adaptations in several different outer space conditions, such as extreme temperatures, microgravity, and cosmic radiation. Now, if you're like me, at the start of the summer, you'd be surprised to hear that since the very first steps of humankind's attempts in space exploration, fungi have been known as hitchhikers. They can survive harsh environments, including sites that are affected by nuclear activity, and they even have natural self-protective mechanisms, such as DNA repair. These qualities make them a fascinating and significant subject to study in regards to developing new methods for example, in biomanufacturing processes for food, medicine, and even biomaterials that could provide astronauts with extra protective coating from radiation. Studying the impact of space conditions on fungi can help us understand how biological organisms, including humans, can be affected, and this in turn can help us plan out the safety of future manned missions. Our team's project this summer was dedicated to gathering and organizing as many primary sources in existing literature as possible that explore the conditions of outer space, whether the observations were performed on Earth with fungi subjected to simulated experimental settings such as microgravity modeled in clinostats, or in outer space, such as fungi collected from the surface of compartments in the International Space Station. We used a variety of websites to collect our sources, including but not limited to the World Data Center for Microorganisms, the American Type Culture Collection, and so on. Due to time constraints, this is where my presentation ends, but I would like to say that I feel so incredibly lucky to have been part of this year's YSP with our advisors, Dr. Marta Samoas, Dr. Andre Antunes, and my teammates Amira, Vielka, Saima, Gabriela, and Sina. I would like to thank them and the Blue Marble Space Institute for the opportunity to grow as a young researcher in this amazing field. Thank you so much for watching.